In today's spotlight, we're going to be focusing on something that's truly, truly important in an interior designer's business, and that is communicating what it is that you do to a client. There's this common misconception in the industry that potential clients know exactly what interior designers do, and uh, it's not true. If you've just searched the internet yourself, you can see how confusing the information online is. And this is exactly what your clients are doing. They're searching online, the same kinds of questions that you are, and then they're even more confused because uh, one interior designer offers one thing, another interior designer offers another thing, and they just simply really just don't know what it is that interior designers do. So today we're going to break this down in a way that you can communicate what you do professionally, clearly, and this will help you to get clients to say yes to your services. So the first step is to clarify your location. Oh, it's, you can't imagine how many people just overlook this. And I think it's just the most simple thing you can do, no matter whether you're planning on uh, providing services worldwide or uh, you do want to provide so for services locally, you do have to tell people where you're based and as well where your um, where your services where you're providing your services. So even if you are thinking about uh, doing worldwide um, providing worldwide services, so I'm based in London, but I do architecture and interiors all the all around the world. But my clients still want to know where I am. They want to know where my business is, where I'm located, what laws apply to the business that I'm run. It's It looks really unprofessional if people don't see or don't know where you're based. And people hide it. You don't, you, even, you, there should be nothing to be afraid of. Please put on every every piece of communication where your location is, or at least, I mean, most people, if you are running a professional or a limited company, even a partnership, you'll be required to put your location. So in some instances, it's not relevant to put your exact address, but a location is, is imperative. So don't ignore this first step. Your clients will want to know, you'll look more professional, and it'll help you get a yes from a client. The next is to lead with your most profitable service. So obviously we're in business. We want to make sure that what we're selling <laughs> is actually profitable. So if you have the skills of an interior designer that are quite broad, try and focus that down to be something that your clients actually want. You need to be finding out all of those things that you want to actually do and then communicate that in a way that is really clear. The the biggest mistake I see most interior designers doing is that they just copy other services from all the other interior designers. So everyone's offering the same thing um, in, a, in a kind of broad sense. So one person will be doing e-design and then another will be doing full service. But what does that actually mean? One person might actually be only doing project management. One person's specialty might be sourcing. Another might be design. So if that whole range of services is your thing, Combine that into your own type of service. Lead with that service. Make it really clear what people can buy from you. The biggest mistake is having 10 different services on your website, especially as a new designer, because this just confuses clients and then they just don't know what to buy and what is right for them because one thing seems specific but not specific enough and then they just get really confused and then they go elsewhere and just buy from someone else because they are just so much clearer about what it is they're offering. So especially if you're starting out, choose one, one really clear service that you uh, that is profitable um, and that you know you can do well and that has proven to do well in the past for yourself. The next step is to solve your client's most pressing problem. And this really is another thing that just gets overlooked. You can't make it a profitable service without understanding your client's needs. So part of the service, the first step is to figure out what we want to offer, but the next part of it, it's like a 50-50 um, split. You need to understand what your clients actually want and then obviously figure out how you're going to merge that together to give that to them. Because um, communicating what we do is one step, but communicating how we solve their problem is really, really the icing on the cake because this is what makes them actually want to buy from you because they can see straight away that, oh, well, the this person does have the skills 
to solve my specific problem. And they've highlighted it here for me so I don't have to look elsewhere. It's, it's right here in front of me and I know what it is that um, they do. So, for example, somebody who um, is perhaps downsizing, this is going to be their forever home for um, the kids have um, uh, left the house now and they're thinking about aging in place. And someone who has the specific skills, who understands universal design, access, and um, obviously aging in place, and all of the things that might happen to somebody as they get older, and the things that they need specifically for that. So somebody who understands that, makes that clear, and someone who is looking for that will be able to, it'll be a perfect match. You'll say, this is what I do. And someone says, oh, that's exactly what I want. So don't underestimate how important it is just to make it really clear how you solve your client's most pressing problem. And finally, keep it simple. So all of these steps, put it together into one sentence, knowing your niche, understanding what it is that you do as an interior designer, as a service that leads, that is profitable, but then also understanding how you're solving your client's problems create a sentence and try and refine it, refine it. So it's not going to be perfect the first time. Write it once, then write it again a second time. Get someone else's feedback, ask them to read it, um, say it out loud and try and make it sound natural and not overcomplicated. You can't imagine how many interior designers I hear, architects are very, uh, uh, well, they do this all the time as well. They just use eloquent words and they fluff about with what it is that they do. Clients don't need that. Um, one specific type of client needs that and that is um, you'll know if that is your client, but the majority don't. They just want to know what it is that you do really clearly because we don't want any confusion. One of my uh, first mentors said to me, a confused mind never buys and I really stick by this. Really keep it simple, write it out, practice it, make sure that you know it off by heart so that in your sleep you know exactly what it is that you do in one sentence it's clear on your website it's clear on your branding it's clear every time you speak to someone and that's it that's our spotlight today just getting really focused on what it is that we offer and how we communicate that to a client. So my name is Jo Crowback. I'm an architectural and interior designer and I am the founder of the Interior Designers Business School here in London.